Right everyone, I've just had to have a little rest at the gate to Longfield. I found it really hard today in the heat coming up the track. Um, just a bit harder than usual and I'm not, in some ways I love being hot and I love being bones warm and warm but in a minute I've got to face the sun going across Piney Slights. So I'm going to try and walk I know it's stinging Netley, but I'm going to try and walk um, as close to the fence as I can to keep out the sun. Because I've, the longer stretch I've got, it's going across two and a half fields facing that heat. And believe me, it is hot. It's very hot today. Can't see no sheep unless they're all up the other end. I didn't um, video long field, long sheep field when I did the Cheddar Circular um, so I thought I'd do a little bit of it now but the sheep aren't they might be right up the top but it, or they might be sheltering over that way somewhere but usually they're here sheltering here It's funny, all the kids go back to school and then there's a heat wave. <sighs> yeah, I just feel a bit knackered today. My, 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 my ribs are aching for some reason. <sighs> and my bag, normally it feels light at this top stage of the walk, but it feels really heavy. <sighs> yeah. I'm not going to rush. I don't care if I get the six o'clock bus. I really don't. I'm not rushing for the five. I usually like to get the five. But... I can't really put my foot down because I'm going to face the extreme sun in a mi very soon after I get through this field. There'll be no shade. The sun's right there in front of me. That's Longwood, by the way, over there. Parts of Longwood, anyway. Some of it I haven't explored, certain areas yet. When they start doing the clearing, it might be more accessible, actually. Alright, I've got my hat on. I'm on my last bottle of water. But in theory, that should more than get me through to, to, to get to Cheddar. Like I said, though, there'll be nothing open no shops, nowhere to buy an ice cream, a drink, uh, the chip shop might be open so I might be able to get a cold drink in there. I can't believe, on, you, you think on a day like this, you know, they don't encourage people to there. They must earn such a lot of money from, from 10 o'clock, because a lot of them don't open to 10 either. They must earn such a lot of money that they can shut at four or five o'clock. It's really horrible, really, for the walkers. So the pub will be open, of course. And I think there are some cafes. <sighs> yeah, I'm really feeling it today. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't choose to do the Quantox, put it that way. I'm really glad I didn't choose that. Oh. Yeah, I'm finding it hard at the moment. It's just that I don't like what it is. I don't like missing... I don't like what being stuck in on lovely days. We get enough of it all winter. I don't like being stuck in. Let's uh, point out the aerials. Mission. Part of my walk. Previous one. The Cheddar Circular. Past those up close. 
And when I do this walk, I either come this way or do, um, do the walk I did on the way here, but in reverse. I'm just enjoying a bit more shade. That's just a bit low there. Let's take the hat off for a minute. I find the hat, you need it, but at the same time it makes your head sweat like crazy. But you actually do need the hat on. I mean, I, I stopped actually last year, I did stop going out doing any hiking in the real hot weather. But this is turning out quite hot. Tomorrow's supposed to be hotter, so I definitely, if I do anything, it'd just be a wood walk tomorrow in the shade. I mean, the, the good thing about the winter is it does give me a chance to recover, you know, from my walks. It does give me a bit of time to recover. I need to look round for a different rucksack as well. Even though it's not a big rucksack, it weighs a ton. Everything seems to drag down my back. And it's putting a strain on my ribs. At the last tree, I'm going to have a small break. There's lots of sting in it, so I can't walk properly. Let's put the hat back on. Over and over. Right. This is Long Sheep Field. All the sheep are up this end for some reason. There aren't no, there's no lambs. These, they could have a ram in with them, but I can only see red markings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. There's probably about thirty in there. Thirty. Got a good shot a minute with the, these two, and I had got the aerials, our aerials. So I've been resting a lot in the trees, trying to get my breathing sorted out a bit and um, cool, cool a bit. So I've decided I've got two hours to get back, and I'm just going to literally take my time because normally I have to be, if I was going to get the five o'clock. I'd have to already be at the top of the gorge ready to descend by quarter past and I ain't going to do it. But, but I've got two solid hours to just plod home and that's what I need to do because it's very, very hot. Hopefully there might be something open, you never know. The chip shop sell cold drinks so I'll probably see if I can get a can of coke or something off them. <sighs> or something. And I don't particularly want alcohol because I could go in the pub and have a pint of cider. But I'm not. They blend in, don't they, apart from the red markings. And they've got, no, there's a few of them. I've got this sort of kennel cough. That's the second one that's been doing that. I expect they're all going to get ready for some Christmas lambs. Aren't you? Eh? You're going to get rid of some Christmas lambs? Yeah, you do. You all look pregnant. Look at you. You're bulging. Don't run away. You know you don't have to. At least I don't have to rescue any of, any of you. This time. Why are they all going like that? There's a lot of traffic going down there. Oh, I've never known it as busy ever. That's two, that's a minibus, a white van and a car gone by since I've been walk, since I left that tree. There was probably more before that. Bye then sheepies. 
I probably will come and visit Longwood and I'll not be going all the way over to Velvet Bottom now. Now, a winter walk to Longwood's fine. If it well, it might not be open, but we'll see. I might just go and visit it anyway. There's a, that's another one I'll be doing in the winter. Robel Hill Fort. And get the bus there. Let's walk round and get the bus back. Um, so that's that's one I do. I have got some walks over Black Rock I do as well. Don't forget. Um, when all the cows are, at, are gone home. I t I've got walks I do in the winter. I, I won't be stopping. Alright, I might have felt a bit very hot a minute ago and I was really in need of uh, cooling. Which I did. I've had two oranges. I've drunk two bottles of my water. Normally I've only ever drunk two. I've got three quarters of a bottle left. Which is adequate to get me down into the town. To get me down into Cheddar now. It's adequate. I'm just going to literally take my time. I'm not going to rush. I don't want to get there for five o'clock and I just miss the bus. Then that is a long hour. That would be a long hot hour. So basically, I'm just going to take my time. Yep. Take my time. Just videoing a bit more. Because don't forget the cheddar circular I did. I ended up going down to Black Rock and up over the gorge and then round to cheddar that way. This time I've come from Velvet Bottom over there down here. And of course, a circular one I did it also involved the aerials and Longwood. That white van's about to reverse again. Maybe there's new people that overtaken. I bet he a roar up here. I'll let him pass. I'll let him pass. If he's coming this way, yeah, he is. Right then, I'm just going to look at this lovely scene, though. Isn't it gorgeous, everyone? Gorgeous, isn't it? <sighs> he just gave me a big smile, the chap in the white van. He probably thought I was, I was waiting for him to pass, actually. So there we go, folks. Summer's come late. We had a couple of hot days. These are hot. Tomorrow's going to be really hot, apparently. I, I mean, I'm going to be walking for, for my physiotherapy. And uh, then I should go for a cool, very short walk in the wood. Because I, uh, I can get to the wood quite easy from there. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I might feel too zonked for walking tomorrow. But I'd rather be out than in. I haven't got a garden, you see. It's a bit to sat, be sat in a box in the heat. You, it's awful. To be sat in a box in the cold is awful. Apart from that, the flat's alright. Had it all, lost it all though. I had a big garden. Garage, green. I'd have, I've had it all. Can't, the shower's got no pockets. Home's what you make it. And I, it is cosy. My little flat's cosy. I like it. I've got a garden to look at, but not to, but in mine. But I can look out at it, and it is pretty. Blokes put all like these little pixie lights in, and he decorates um, tree stumps that get washed up on the beach, which are all like twisted and gnarled, and he, he decorates them, puts them in the garden. Um, so that's nice to look at. And the birds, of course. The birds visit. I give them bread. Uh, 
and even if I did move, I wouldn't want a big garden anyway. I'd only want a little patch, just somewhere to sit out in the fresh air would be nice. Not in a cold, damp yard, no. But I don't know what will happen to me yet. I don't know. I don't want to be stuck in a high-rise flat, though. I don't want to go... I don't intend moving until I've perhaps got a little bit of, uh, of a garden. I don't know what will happen. I might drop dead before then on these walks. Hello, chicken. Hello, I haven't seen you around here before. Have you escaped? Hey, eh? Have you escaped? Hey, eh? I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to hurt you. Hey, do you want to say hello to the camera? Yeah, hello. What's that you say? Oh. Yes. They'll be looking for you if you escape. Oh, there's my lovely tree, look. The tree that greets me on the way back from my long walks. Says hello to me in the morning when I'm zipping by and... How you doing, Sheila, when I'm coming back? <laughs> I love this tree. He's almost got his arms open saying, come on. Come and call off. Come on, Tina. Come and call off before you go any across those hot fields. I'm going to have a little drink. Take your bag off for five minutes. This is worth it. There's no rush. You're not getting the five o'clock. That's got to last me now till I get to the other side of those two fields. Then there's another one, and then I'm going across two hot fields. Now one good thing, the sun has sort of gone that way, but I've got a feeling I'll be going that way in a minute. Over and out, everyone. I just want to take a picture of my lovely tree. <laughs> 